Well, friends, it seems like my idolatry videos have gone over like a lead balloon concept completely missed. So let me try to clarify exactly what I was trying to say. When Christians say that they are not idolaters, they are not using the definition as set out in the original context of the Hebrew scriptures, right? They're not doing what Yahweh admonished them to do. Now, you and I both know that these are just symbols and nothing is inherently wrong with them, but it is not myself or you who gets to set that definition. We have to follow the standards that are set for us in the Hebrew scriptures. Even though Christian scriptures were compiled with the Hebrew scriptures, they come from very different historical and cultural contexts. So again, we have to look at the original writings, the Hebrew writings, to understand what this definition of idolatry is. When the goal is control, idolatry is subjective. And guess who defines it? Yahweh! Combining this literature together has given this false narrative that there is this harmonious, continuous story from the beginning to the end, and that's simply not the case. Pretend we're rewinding time, and we're taking Asher worshipers and Jesus worshipers, and we are putting them at 600 BCE, and they're at the same temple. Now you tell me, who is the idol worshiper? Who, to the Yahwehs, is the idol worshiper? Well, you'd guess it. It would be both of them. Because why? Because they are the ones who set that definition, not you and not me. While you and I know that we are not worshiping this piece of wood, they don't care. They don't care that we're just veneration, that it's just a representation of that God, right? Because they want to subjugate us. They want to control the narrative. That's what it's about. So you can't hundreds, thousands of years later say, well, that's not me, that's not idolatry. You're not the one who makes that definition. Yahweh does. That's all I'm trying to convey. I hope my point is now taken. I understand that they're not gods. This piece of wood is not a god. Like, duh, I know that. I love you.